Hi, I'm Shepard Cruz. As a little boy, I climbed the highest trees to get a closer look at the planes overhead. Fascinated by flight, I was determined to make my own rocket engines. Over the years, I've built engine after engine. I learned about the inefficiencies in the traditional cone nozzle due to the inadequate expansion of gases. This led me to question whether there was a better option. I discovered a nozzle design called the Aerospike engine to be unique in that it compensates for changing pressures, keeping it at the top of this pressure ratio curve at all times, sea level, mid-altitude, and near space, while the cone nozzle loses efficiency as it climbs into the atmosphere. As you can see, even NASA has this problem. I decided to compare the aerospike to the cone nozzle. I hypothesized that the aerospike would produce more thrust than the cone nozzle. To do this, I first designed and built both an aerospike and a cone nozzle. I made my prototype versions out of PVC pipe and cement. I machined the final aerospike from metal, which is reusable. It features an interchangeable spike, which allowed me to test different spike geometries, and it also allows me to change the fuel chamber length and the length of the expansion chamber. I made my own rocket fuel in my mom's egg skillet pan from stump remover or potassium nitrate as the oxidizer and sugar as the fuel. I measured thrust using a strain gauge system during static firings. The aerospike produced an impulse of 12 pound seconds and a maximum thrust of 3.6 pounds compared to the cone engine with only an impulse of 7.2 pound seconds and a maximum thrust of 2.4 pounds. Averaging across every category, the aerospike outperformed the cone nozzle by more than 70%, confirming my hypothesis. Using the aerospike would allow rockets to use significantly less fuel and increase their payload, making my research a potential game changer for the aerospace industry. I will continue working on the aerospike cooling requirements and using liquid fuel. The cone nozzle is what took us to the moon, but the aerospike is what's going to take us to Mars.